first of all, 2,000 subscribers. I mean, <laughs> honestly, I'm I'm humbled and baffled by by all of that. Uh, I mean, wow. It really does mean so much to me, honestly, it really does, and I'm just glad that you like the stuff that I produce, and it inspires me to keep on going on with it, so I'm just glad that you really enjoy it. Thank you so much. So today, as a little special episode, I'm going to take a divergence from the main series in order to do something that has had a surprising amount of requests. The how to cosplay the non-canon doctors. Canon? Or is it canon? I can't really remember, so answers on a postcard, please. So, of course there are many non-canon doctors, so I'll focus on two very notable ones. That being the Curse of the Fatal Death Doctor and Doctor Who. And if you don't know what I mean by Doctor Who, you will soon find out. Anyway, let's get to it. Curse of the Fatal Death. Stephen Moffat's first televised contribution to the Who universe, and it was a hilarious work of art that holds up to this day. And not at the least was it down to the fantastic portrayal of the then Ninth Doctor, as played by Blackadder and Mr. Bean himself, Rowan Atkinson. Now, the costume of this Ninth Doctor was styled in the manner of Generic Doctor, following the typically three-piece manner of the Doctor's costumes, but if anything, it comes across as mentally stylish yet tasteless. Let's break it down. The coat. A standard black velvet coat. Nothing too fancy here, except for the fact that it's quite similar to what is being worn by the 12th incarnation of his Prime Universe counterpart in Series 10. Now, as to where to get one, I would have said eBay, but because of said 12th incarnation, they've all been bought up. Woofs, well, uh, hmm. I'd recommend a standard black Prince Edward coat or frog coat. But keep an eye out for a velvet one, just in case. The waistcoat. A totally custom design. You'd never find it, ever. Trust me, I've tried. Obviously homaging the great Sixth Doctor's fashion sense, your best bet is using your own judgement and trawling through eBay searching for patterned waistcoats or paisley waistcoats, that sort of thing. And you'll find an old that's tasteless enough to work. The shirt. A standard red or burgundy shirt will be fine. No stress here at all. Now for the tie. This could be very difficult, but you could just use a standard tie and part it for a similar effect. However, if you go for the Hugh Grant or Joanna Lumley incarnations, forget the tie and open that shirt. For the trousers, just standard black trousers, all good. Shoes, anything black really, it really is that simple. And you just need a classic sonic screwdriver to complete the mix. Thank you character options. And there you have it. Pretty much be cosplaying five doctors at once. Now let's go down the polar opposite route and cosplay Doctor Who. The two Dalek movies back in the 1960s were built to capitalise on that Dalek hype around then, so who better to face those monsters than a horror movie star at the top of his game, Peter Cushing. Now the real difference here is that the Doctor was not an alien who went by the name of the Doctor, but a human scientist who actually was called Doctor Who. Fancy that. Still, personally, I really enjoy the movies, and if you haven't seen them, I would thoroughly recommend them as just a piece of Doctor Who history. Now let's talk about Doctor Who's costume. Once again, it assumes the standard three-piece Doctor style. Coat. This is a lovely brown velvet coat. Again, nothing too fancy, just look for a brown smoking jacket or something along those lines on eBay. Or take a look in charity shops, they're always good. Love a good charity shop. Shirt. Standard white one, easy enough. For the tie, just a simple light blue Ascot cravat. Perfect. Waistcoat. Now, this depends on which variant you want to go for. If you want to go for Doctor Who and the Daleks, then you just need a standard cream waistcoat. If you want the alternative from Dalek Invasion Earth 2150 AD, then you'll need one with a floral pattern. You'll never find the exact since it was 50 years ago, but you can come close. Once again, just check eBay. Now for the trousers, preferably brown plaid ones or plain ones. Again, depends which movie you want to go for. And as for the shoes, once again, just everything in black. And for added effect, a light blue scarf. See, Doctor Who was wearing scarves before it was cool. And for further detail, you just need a pair of round glasses, which you can easily get on Amazon, and a watch chain for the waistcoat. And that's how you cover to be the human doctor. I still find it pretty crazy how he built his own TARDIS. Pretty intense workmanship, that's for sure. So yes, thank you once again for subscribing and joining me on this uh, journey of tutorials on cosplays and whatnot. So yeah, that's... All I can say, really, thank you so much. It means a hell of a lot to me, and I shall see you later. Bye.